A SEPTA station in West Philadelphia was shut down this morning when someone opened fire on board a train. Police say a 19 year old riding westbound on the Market Frankfurt line was shot once at the 52nd Street station. A suspect is now in custody. Action News reporter John Paul is live near the scene. John, you have some new video of the moment that shot was fired. Yeah, we have video really of the whole thing. Now, it's not clear exactly what led up to that shooting, but we do know the person who was hit is expected to survive and that witnesses jumped in to help. Dramatic video shows a scuffle on a SEPTA train this morning, and then you hear it. The sound of a gunshot on the Market Frankfurt line around 7.45 this morning. Keep your head down. Keep the keys down. Minutes later, you hear panicked passengers at the 52nd Street station worried for their lives as a man stands holding a gun. Guys are beating this guy up and somebody got shot. You see a group of people holding down the suspected shooter on the platform. Then you see officers run up to the scene. One of them recovers a gun and unloads it. The man is then hauled off in handcuffs. The station was shut down as riders processed what they just witnessed. I know it's, it's pretty tragic, it's pretty awful, but I'm glad they're investigating. That's sad, that's sad because you should be able to be on the train without being shot. It was probably, it was something silly. You know, people have short tempers and then there's the weapons and, but they cause problems for other people. Police say a 19 year old was shot one time in the arm. He's expected to recover. Some riders say they want to see more officers. The police is not doing nothing. The mayor is not doing nothing. The district attorney is not doing nothing. I have been in contact with SEPTA throughout the morning. They tell me there's going to be a media statement sometime around 2 o'clock. We will be there for that. For now, we're live in West Philadelphia. John Paul, Channel 6, Action News. Alicia. All right, John, thank you.